Hello everyone, today I'm going to be going over how to do calculations keeping track of proper sig figs. First, we'll start with addition and subtraction. Here, you need to keep track of your decimal places. Note that these are not equivalent to sig figs. As you notice, this number has four decimal places, while the same number only has two sig figs. There is an additional video available to you should you need to go over the difference. But for now, let's jump right into an example, shall we? Let's say you want to add 0 0.010 to 0 0.0041. Well, the answer should be obvious, but how many sig figs do you have? Or more accurately, how many decimal places? Your answer will have the same number as the number with the least number of decimal places. In other words, your answer will have the same number of decimal places as your value with the least number of decimal places. So in this case, 3. But you can keep track of the 1 as long as you lower it, as I've done there. We'll do another example. Let's say you have 0 0.06, and to that you are adding 0 0.0067. Again, the first one only has two decimal places, and the second one has four. So your final answer will have two decimal places. We will round up to 0 0.07, because obviously your third decimal place is greater than or equal to 5. So we round up. And again, you can keep track of the ones that you dropped, or you can keep track of the precision, as long as you note that they are not significant by lowering them, as I've done. That is also correct. Let's move on to multiplication and division. Here, it's very important to note that you keep track of your sig figs, not the decimal places. Again, they are different. You can review it if you're not sure how. So, another example. We have 0 .0040 times 0 .1000. Notice that the first number only has two sig figs. The second has four. Therefore, your answer can only have two sig figs. Another example. If you have 12,700 times two, the first number has three sig figs, while your second only has one, your answer well, technically, it is 25,400, can only be precise to one sig fig. Therefore, you round up to 30,000. This is why you need to keep precision while doing chemistry. Alright, so we saw that. Let's do a couple mixed calculations, so division and subtraction and multiplication, and or addition. <laughs> Let's say you have 1.0041 minus 0 .002, all divided by 2.00. Well, you'd follow your same Bedmas rules, or Pedmas rules, if you learned in front. You'd start with inside your brackets. You notice that the second number only has three decimal places. So your answer, or that your answer from that part of it, will be 1.0021. And you'll notice that only three decimal places will be present. So if you take that and you go 1.002 divided by 2.00, sorry. <laughs> Then, you'll then move on to your rules of multiplication and division. You'll notice that the second number only has three sig figs, while your first number has four. Therefore, your final answer will be 0 0.501, which has three sig figs. And there you go. Not that hard. Good luck!